Hey guys, Hoy Archer here. So today I'm working on a bow that I'm I'm actually giving away as a bow trade uh, for this guy called Bowmad 100. Uh, that's B O W M A D 100. He contacted me via YouTube personal message and asked me to build him a bow. And in in exchange, he gave me a pretty cool fiberglass um, Ben Pearson fiberglass Ben Pearson um, recurve bow. And that's something I was looking for. I know all you guys out there that like the custom work and everything are, you know, it's it's just a fiberglass bow to some people. But for me, it's part of my collection that I didn't have, which is pretty cool. So thanks again, Steven, or Steve. I'm not sure if it's Steven or Steve, but Bowmad100. There you go. And this is your bow here. So as you can see here, this bow is a recurve bow with cutout tips, with cutout knocks. I already went ahead and primed it up and I put the wood grain inside it inside this already so what I'm gonna be doing now is Bowmad wants camel so you know I showed you guys how to do camel before I showed you guys how to do it with the snakeskin um, the mesh nettings and everything else so today I'm gonna try something a little different and what I'm gonna be using is well, we call it tea leaf here in Hawaii piece of tea leaf and some fern and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a really woodland kind of a leafy textured look to it. Uh, other things that you could use too is this um, kind of I'm not even sure what the hell this thing is called but I found this in the craft section I think this is for like some kind of weaving but it makes really nice um, digital looks to it. I use this a lot on my my other um, camouflage jobs I do and some cardstock right here basic cardstock just draw some lines and cut it out and of course you'll need your paints paints can be done with any color you choose there's no real rules or any type of um, rules or regulations on this oh, here we go set this camera up so I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna get this look down now the one thing with leaves is especially if you're gonna work with full leaves is you really wanna um, kinda open it up a little bit you could leave it whole and then basically what, what, what you'd end up getting is just like a blob shape but we want the leafy effect so take the tea leaf here and you just kind of split it just randomly there you go and whatever color you start with doesn't matter it's not a big deal so I got a dark color here so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot on some black and what you really want to do is actually try to get the leaf as flat as possible. Oops, not good. There you go. See when you spray it over, you end up with kind of that leafy effect here. Now don't worry about the heavy sprays here. That can always be covered up. So what I like to do is I like to just use this since I already have this out. Go ahead and just kind of mix and match my templates here. Um, the shapes going out the bowl. There you go. Flip the bowl around. Huh? Here's a quick visual on that. Flip this bowl around. Catch this in. Also want more than one of these so when it starts getting really heavy you can just kind of chuck it and get a new one so right from here I'm take this some darker brown and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna flip this guy back over that's a cool thing about camouflage uh, there's no rules to how you how it's done you just get it done So 
it's really going to break up the uh, break up the outline of this bow. Yeah, you know, just kind of make it go different directions. Like so, cover up your blocks. And just for symmetry here, do the same thing on that tip as we did on the bottom tip. Uh, mask and gloves are optional. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna be a safety nanny here and be telling everybody how to run their crap. But just for the breakup, let's do this here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn it uh, diagonally to kind of give it not diagonally, kind of. Cant it just a little bit so I can get the um, a diamond shape instead of a square shape. And we'll start that from here. Oh, that's not good to run out of paint when you're doing this. is a little uneven. Okay. Oh, that works. This is time for a new camp paint. So the bowl oh, scratch the bowl. So the basic thing here is just you know have fun with what you're doing. It's not it's not like you have there's there's, there's no ruse when you're doing camouflage. And that's what I like about it. When my wife paints, she wants to do everything all so-so and sometimes she has fun with stuff, but my wife is a very serious painter. So. And what's the really trippy effect here is, I'm not sure if you can see that, but seeing that this is the baseline, if you see really good in the background, you can see the grain that I cut out. So, I hope you guys can pick this up on camera. So, what's nice is, with this grain, to finish this off, you put one coat of that, um, the shoe polish on it, and it will really make that grain back there and everything else just pop out. So... Go ahead and finish this up. I got some other colors I can throw in here. Oh, well, let's see. Do I put? Here's a cool little trick, um, if you guys want to get the effect of splattered, like it looks like it, um, maybe something just exploded over it, so you pretty much what you can do with these, these types of nipples that's on the um, spray can, see this, this adjustable nipple here, you can just go ahead and twist this out, and it'll pop right off, it's kind of hard to do this with gloves, there you go. Keep this because you can put that right back. Pick it up. And I just give it a quick splatter on there. That gives it that effect of um, kind of like almost water bubbles all over the bowl. Not sure if I'm going to keep that. If anything, I'll just redo it. But you pretty much get the gist of what I'm saying with the. The beefy print, camouflage, and such. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this paint job and show you guys what this looks like and Steve I hope you like it um, it'll look even better when I'm done alright questions or comments about how I got this to this point you guys all know where to leave it and I'll check you guys out later